Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I just want to talk about the newest announcement by Hack the Box that they can submit your CPE points or credits to IC Squared on your behalf if you can hack the machines. I'm very excited because I have been working on Hack the Box machine, hacking a few machines uh, a week, and I was just doing that for fun. And now if that's going to help me with my CPEs, I, that just makes it more exciting for me. That's why I want to share with you guys. So I'm not sponsored by Hack the Box or IC Squared. I just wanted to share with you as my subscribers or the community that this is something that is actually there and it actually works. If you want to get your CPEs while at the same time learning how to hack or learning how to be a pen tester or whatever you want to call it, Hack the box and IC squared have the perfect uh, opportunity for that. And so without wasting time, let me just hop into the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about, about the announcement. So as you can see here on the computer, I have uh, th the notification that they're sent and you can read this all if you want, but uh, the most in interesting thing is they're saying that if you can hack easy active machines, you get two CPEs. That's equivalent to two hours of maybe attending a webinar or some training course somewhere. And same for medium is four and so on. And retired, you get one, two, three, or four. And of course the challenges. I haven't done the challenges. I can tell you though that I've done some active machines. They are different depending on the machine and your level of uh, knowledge about uh, pen testing but i've been doing uh Vaughan hub machines for about a year and this these are fairly simple uh you can go anywhere from 15 minutes to uh, exploit an easy machine to maybe an hour or two depending on how you struggle but this is fairly simple so this for me at least this is the best back for your time because if if you give me for example I have in the past month and a few days, I've exploited about 35 machines. This is before I knew that this was an option. So I've done 35 machines. I've made videos about them. I've made about 20 videos during that same time. So I had time to exploit a machine and also make the videos. And here are the, here's a series that I have on this channel that you can actually go and see. And the reason why I'm making these videos is I'm planning on going for the OSCP and the best way that I learn is if I can explain these things to someone else and I just sit in front of a, a computer with my microphone and record the screen and talk to you guys and so most of these vi videos that I make will show you my thought process and how I have progressed and I'm hoping to do about 40 of these machines and since I started them a little before the, uh, this announcement I'm going to go back, exploit some of these machines again and submit my flags. And once I submit my flags, I'll be able to get credit for these machines. So you might be wondering, I'm talking about exploiting uh, machines from Hack the Box. I'm talking about making my videos, but how do you actually get these CPEs? Over here, they talk about uh, being VIP members. So VIP members pay maybe, I think it's about $12, 12 US dollars and I think it's a worthwhile investment if you are serious about learning about penetration testing or red teaming or something like that. It's definitely something that's worth it. I, I've been a member for, this is my second month, and I think it's one of the best things compared to Hulu or Netflix or <laughs> uh, Xbox Live or even a lunch. To me, this is definitely worth it. So after you become a VIP member, just sign into your account. So if you have never been, if you have never signed into Hack the Box or before, this is what it looks like. And these are the machines. And you can list all the machines here. There is a lot of really, really good machines and I've been actually having a lot of fun. In a way, once you get the hang of the process of exploiting these machines, it's sort of like uh, something that you look forward to. One of those things that's satisfying to know that you can just come in here, spend an hour, exploit a machine and learn a new thing. 
there's a lot of windows and um, Linux machines so if you go to my channel you see that I've done 19 machines and made, made videos about them one thing that you notice is for example some of the machines for like sense this video is only 14 minutes you can literally exploit this machine in under 30 minutes without knowing anything about it so and when you do that this is a retired machine you get one point which is equivalent to an hour so you are like killing two birds with one stone by doing this then from here um let me show you i have only submitted um one medium machine and one easy machine so far and today i verified that i can actually i actually got three points so if you go to your profile and do settings over here you have to go through a setup process and they'll walk you through how to set it up i you just have to set up two-factor authentication for your account and there's one other step that I, I don't remember but as you can see this month i've earned three credits and these credits will go towards my cissp and this i believe is one of the best ways to gain your continued education points or cpes just wanted to give you a heads up just in case you haven't noticed it and um if you want you can go ahead and do a uh, new to hacking or learning about how you can exploit machines just go ahead and watch some of my videos you get an idea and believe me these machines are not that hard especially the hack the box machines i'm making them harder for myself if you follow my series because i'm avoiding metasploit the the whole framework itself but if you throw metasploit at most of these machines in hack the box you will notice that they are very very easy to exploit and you also learn a bunch of useful things whether you are a network administrator system administrator or even a help desk person you understand different techniques that are being used by attackers to get into your systems which i believe is valuable because if you know what the attackers are doing you will definitely be able to uh, protect your environment better and this is just one step towards that goal where you can become knowledgeable and actually be a valuable asset to your employer or your clients or wherever you're working for so that was it for me if you're interested in uh joining me in the journey to getting our OSCP certified uh consider subscribing like my videos i've been posting a couple of videos a week or even more depending on how much time i have but uh in the next few months i do plan on taking the OSCP and i will be updating you more on that there will be more videos of me uh showing telling you my progress i also plan on uh doing live hacking on twitch uh live streaming on youtube is not that great so i'll probably try to do on twitch first then after that uh you guys can join me there we can chat and we can even collaborate you can tell me some things that i probably don't know so that's it for me for today otherwise guys subscribe and like I'll see you in the next video and happy hacking.